Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, yeah, it's my turn to do the Down By Law review, uh, review that uh, I was supposed to do on Sunday, but uh, uh, things got a little crazy. Um, I just didn't have time. Um, like I, I, I liked the film. It, uh, it, it wasn't my usual, uh, you know, the, the usual for me. You know, I. Uh, but I liked it. Um, uh, I I thought it was a uh, it, it was funny to to open up a movie with uh, seeing how messed up the relationships are for the two uh, real main characters, uh, Zach and Jack. Um, and then like like Zach's getting thrown out, and he's and he's very concerned about the shoes, not the shoes. Uh, um, even though, like a like he's a DJ and he cares about his records, but you know it's like, but it's the shoes that really gets him. And then uh, Jack, uh, he uh, he he's getting bitched out by uh, by one of his uh, whores. You know he's a he's an unsuccessful pimp because he cares, because he is a because he's a, a nice guy and he and he cares about uh, about his uh, about his about his whores. Uh, I, th I thought that was funny, um, Jesse. I will agree that um, that was very quiet. I had to turn on the subtitles on my TV, but besides that, uh, I wasn't too bad. Um, I don't know. It call call me crazy, but uh, the uh, I think the the overall uh, mood of of the of the movie it reminded me a lot of like a Tennessee Williams play. You know, I, I and I don't know why I got that uh, that feeling, but it, uh, I don't know. That was just the 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 tone that I got from it. it reminded me a lot of Tennessee Williams. You know, I don't know if that was on purpose, uh, but uh, yeah, that's that's very funny. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I thought it was funny. Um, let's see what else do I have on here. Um. Yeah, I I don't. Uh, I, I thought I I like I liked the movie. I thought it was funny, but I feel it didn't get to. It really didn't uh, get to be that funny until they got to got to prison. And then they're uh, talking. Uh, the Italian guy uh, keeps on mixing up their names, which they get pissed at, but. Uh, the um, they have very they have very similar names, and for a man that's that doesn't speak English, they're uh, uh, it's very, it's very understandable. But they get so pissed. Uh, and then I did enjoy the the le leaves of glass uh, line, uh, but I'm a I'm a lit major, so I'm like ha ha ha, what a joke. Da -da -da. Um, uh, like I don't know what it is, but I won't. But the uh, but the Italian guy, I've only seen him in two movies, this and and one about the Holocaust. And and in both films, he's uh he, he's playing a, a prisoner. So I don't I don't know what that uh, what that says, but uh, I thought it was a very weird coincidence. So uh, yeah, and I enjoyed the ending. I I thought uh, you know having. Um, you know, having it be a, a, a rather happy ending was uh, was good, but then it's also rather ambiguous about uh, what will happen to Zack and Jack uh, because they are like uh, they're they're on the run. Um, I would assume that'd be very difficult to uh, to assume a new identity and just go from there. I don't know. So, uh, yeah. Again, I'm sorry this is late. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm also very excited to do the rundown. I got it right here. So, and, and I uh, think it's funny because uh, uh, this was at, at the point where uh, um, Dwayne Johnson was still just using The Rock as his name for movies, uh, much like a lot of uh, professional wrestlers like to do. Uh, so we go from we go from 
this to uh, some of his uh, later work where he's actually becoming a legitimate uh, movie star, which I find very, uh, very strange. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to review this. Uh, I, I always enjoy the, the movies where I can switch off my brain. So, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys later.